The Battle of Black Mingo was a skirmish during the American Revolution. It took place in September 1780 in the vicinity of Dollard's Tavern near Black Mingo Creek near Hemingway, South Carolina. General Francis Marion attacked and scattered a contingent of Loyalist troops that had been left to secure the region by Colonel Bannister Tarleton. After his destructive march through the area, the Loyalists, under Colonel John Cumming Ball, were driven into the nearby swamp after suffering significant casualties. Background. A company of militia was placed under the command of Brigadier General Francis Marion in the wake of the Battle of Ramsaw's Mill. Marion then engaged in a series of guerrilla actions to harry elements of the British force and its loyalist supporters. These activities reduced company morale, and the hunt for Marion caused men to leave his company, until he only had about 60 left and was forced to retreat into hiding in the swamps of the border between North and South Carolina. The British then traveled across South Carolina, plundering and destroying revolutionary properties. This prompted Marion to move into South Carolina, where revolutionaries angered by the British action signed up in large numbers. He was alerted to the presence of a large number of loyalists near Black Mingo Creek, then 15 miles away. While the reports indicated that the loyalist numbers were larger than his own, the enthusiasm of his men prompted him to agree to an attack. Battle. While Marion had wanted to surprise the loyalists with an early morning attack, the surprise was spoiled when the lead horses in his column started crossing the wooden plank bridge across Black Mingo Creek. Alarm shots were heard in the Loyalist camp, and Marion's company rushed to engage them. While the surprise was not complete, the Loyalists were sufficiently disorganized that the larger force was routed and forced to retreat into the swamp. Aftermath Word of Marion's success spread, and he continued to recruit well after the battle. He also learned a lesson. He reportedly never again crossed a bridge intending surprise without first laying blankets down on it.